All right, Jen, open your mouth. I'm gonna put the drumstick in there. What? No, <laughs> open your mouth, bro. No, nah, let me bro. just. Ah. Oh. Is it? That's not the <laughs> 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 What's up guys, welcome back to our March mini series where we put food head to head in a tournament style. Today we are doing fried chicken and we brought our fried chicken connoisseur and friend Jansen. Hi, what's up guys? <laughs> this is Jansen, I'm about to eat some chicken. Alright, so as you guys know, this is going to be a blind taste test. So we're going to be having two rounds today. The first round is going to be drumstick only and the second round we're going to go for the thigh. So to do the first round, we're going to match up number one versus number four for the blind taste test of the drumstick. So here we go. Number four versus number one. We're gonna start with the underdog, the four seed. Here we got our drumstick. Hold the plate together. Just take a little bite, bro. Here we go, huh? Oh, Jesus. That's a big bite. There you go, number four seed. How's the chicken taste first? For me, there's not much flavor in it. The texture is really good, like crispy and it's just juicy. I agree with Jansen. Definitely not as seasoned as I'd like it to be. The mm -hmm. skin is very crispy though, and the chicken is juicy. Here we go, so okay. number one seed now. All right, Jan, you pick it up first. I might give you a tech for how much lips you're putting on that. <coughs> yeah, what's your what's your play? This one definitely had flavor. Right amount of crispiness. I think it's crispier than the last one. The skin is like you know that extra crunch at the end. Yeah. I think more flavor, but still for me, not that not, much flavor. Not that much flavor. But it still has I think better flavor than the before. It's definitely crispier. It is greasier though, right? To me it feels greasier. Uh, I still taste the flavor. Not like the first one. Yeah, there's a little more flavor there, but overall I think the chicken's just a little greasier, but I'm not complaining. Alright. So I'm gonna let you guys talk to each other to pick a winner. Alright, Jan, what are you thinking? Number one seed. I agree with Jansen. I'll go with the number one seed. Number one seed. Alright, so it's decided. Number one moves on to the second round. Now for our second matchup, we have the two seed versus the three seed. We're gonna start off with the three seed. Hands out. Mm. Okay. Brings me back to the old days. I think it was one of my first loves, so. Crispy and greasy, right amount of flavor. How's the skin? It, just, it was like thin. It wasn't like as crunchier as the other, but it blends well with, with its flavor. For me, the seasoning is there, but it's a little bit salty. The chicken is good. It has that nice breaded crispiness at the end. You know, after the initial crunch, you still get those extra crispy pieces. All right, now we're moving on to our number two seat. Hands out, Jan, hands out, hands out. This one's a little weirdly shaped, so it's gonna be hard to take a bite. <laughs> Damn. As a referee, this had the loudest crunch. That's banging. A little salty, but good salt. Chicken, perfect. I think that this is probably the most balanced seasoning of all the four chickens. Yeah. It's salty, but not as salty as number three. However, I think this was probably the weakest chicken in terms of the chicken alone. It was actually very on the dry side for me. It was number two and number three. I, I picked this one. But why? <laughs> Brings back good old days, but new flavor in town right here. <laughs> right amount of greasiness too in the chicken. And for me, it's dry. Compared to the other four, it's probably the driest. But crispiness, it's up there, maybe two. The seasoning is probably number one. You guys gotta talk to each other, what do you guys decide? I'm sorry, I love the last one, but two. I think that the dryness is overshadowed by the rest of the chicken compared to three. Three had was too salty. It was a good all around chicken, number three, but not spectacular in any way. I think that two, because it has really strong crispiness and really strong seasoning, we're able to kind of neglect the dryness for now. So this was a tough matchup, as the two and three seeds usually are, but I think for this round and this matchup, to give it to seed number two. So now it's gonna come down to our final round. You know, everybody hopes for this. The number one seed versus the number two seed. Let's see how it goes. All right, boys and girls, the moment we've been waiting for. Number one seed versus the number two seed in the final matchup to see who's the king of the fried chicken world. Here we go. We're gonna start with the somewhat underdog, the number two seed. Here we go. Hands out. I think I would suggest picking at the skin first. Just grab a little piece of skin. Oh, oh, that's good seasoning. Very greasy. Can you navigate me to the best bite? Here, I'm gonna guide into your mouth. Jansen, I'm gonna navigate you on another bite. Okay, okay. Okay, this one for me, less of crunchiness, but just too salty for me. Okay, I think it is on the salty side. However, Jansen, you actually said in the previous round that number three was saltier than this one. Really not. <laughs> <laughs> because you said number three is the good old days and number two was like, wow. Yeah, the good old days. This is the new, new girl, girl in town. This is the new girl in town? Yes! yes. Maybe it's just because of thigh. I was thinking that too. That's, I think it was just too much skin. There was a lot of skin on that one. Yeah, there was a lot. I think that this was probably the crispiest of the four chicken, but I agree with Jansen, it is on the saltier side. Regarding the last round, I think that this one was not as dry as the drumstick. That's fine. Number two is putting up a good shot. Here we go. We have number one, C, the big guy. Here we go. Open. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
You good? Wow. What are you thinking, Jen? Good flavor. Like, well balanced between the meat and the skin, for sure. No, flavor-wise, compared to the other one. Flavor one, that is really good, but this one is well balanced. It mixed so well with the meat. Yeah, compared to the number two seed, this number one seed is well rounded with the spices. Mm -hmm. I think the skin is crispier on the number two seed, but this one isn't far behind, and the, the meat is extremely juicy. They have their own like strengths. Strengths, yeah. All right, guys. So since this is a tough matchup, we're gonna give them a few moments to deliberate. I'm gonna try these chicken, and then we will be right back with our final result. So we're back. So tell me what you guys think. Looking at this matchup, the number two seed came out really strong with a nice crispy bite on that chicken. Although Jansen feels like he got a bad ratio of meat to skin, I got a good bite and I still thought it was salty. The juiciness of the chicken was there, not the greatest, not the worst. Overall, the whole experience was pretty good. Like, I would, I would buy that chicken again. The number one seed, it was just perfect all around. The flavor, the crispiness, and the meat itself, and the greasiness, like, it was well flavored. It wasn't salty at all. If I were to pick a chicken to go and eat, I think I might, I might go with that one. So. Yeah. So what's our winner? Winner is number one. All right, so it's settled. In the debate for who has the best fried chicken, we have the number one seed. And to tell you guys, I think you guys know where I got that chicken. Cause I got that chicken from Popeyes. Woo! Popeyes is the winner of the fried chicken bracket. Wow. I want to thank Jansen, our chicken connoisseur, for coming out today and helping wow. us judge the chicken bracket. We thank you guys for coming along for another video. We hope you guys stay tuned for more brackets. We'll catch you guys next time on High Foods.